You know what's funny? I've been doing a lot of research about the two Egypts, the original Egypt being here in America, and I've been comparing it to the Book of Enoch and old scriptures and things of that nature. And I come across this particular scripture that is actually in the Bible, Deuteronomy. If you guys have your Bible, I need you to pay attention to this because it's going to blow you away. So go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 68, and it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Again with ships. It didn't say bring into another country or just again to another world with ships or you be sold or just generalize it in general. It didn't say that. It says again. And there's only one country that is known for bringing the slaves in by ships, and that's America. But believe it or not, ancient terms ancient terms and ancient names for America was actually Egypt. Yes. So that means by scripture standard and geology, if you put two and two together, the original Egypt was here in America. The land of Israel and Jerusalem. First of all, <laughs> Israel is a person. It's not a land. Okay. Jerusalem is a nation. Okay, a tribe, so on. That's what it is. That's what originally, if, if you don't believe me, Google it. So all this time we're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, Israel is a land. No, Israel is not a land. Jerusalem is a nation. Israel is a person. Okay, and we need to correct the lies. We've been lied to this entire time. This is why so many other countries out there want America. Because they know America is the oldest land in the world. Africa and landmarks in Africa was created as a distraction to steer people away from the truth. So all this time they're telling you, go back to Africa, go back to Africa. They were brainwashing our people to think that we're not from this country. We are from this country. This country is ours. We were here right along with the Hispanics, Indians, Asians. They came later. Italians are extended of Mexicans, Hispanics, whether they want to believe it or not. Yes. If you don't believe me, here is proof right here. This is a picture you can pretty much find in a library book of Congress or old books. See, T. Amari slash America. This is an old uh, map, believe it or not. In the old map, what do you see there? You see Negro people in that picture. You look in the background, you see Negro pe people in that picture. Not Indians, not Hispanics. You see Negro people. Negroes, blacks, were the original people inhabiting this earth. Okay. And then Obinos came that was created with the Anunnaki that came down here. That's who Noah descends from. Indians were created later. And so on and so forth. I explained and I debunk all of it in a video that's, that's going to be coming out soon. So you might want to subscribe to my channel at The Truth Show. But this is the truth. Here is a video of someone explaining in more detail just in case some of you doubters are <coughs> still confused. Now before I show you this video, this is an old map. This is an old testament map of ancient America. Okay. As you can see up there is the tribe of Jerusalem, Israel, etc. Lebanon, that's not a land either. You need to look up Lebanon. It's not a land. And then over here to the right, where you see the Gulf here, pretty much primarily where the Mississippi River comes out, of, which used to be the old Nile River that connects to Missouri River. It used to be one big river, but they separated it. That's where Egypt is. That's why it's so much activity going on in there. R red Sea is not red. It actually is Reed Sea, which is R-E-E-D. Reed Sea, which means tall reed grass and things along the ocean there. And you notice over here in the right area where it says Egyptian Sea, somewhere over there is where there's a lot of activity and you see the Bermuda Triangle. By geology... 
and coordinates of maps and historical records. That's where the Atlantis will be beneath. No one knows what happened to Atlantis. It's been mysterious myths saying it was um, flew away, it sunk, or whatever. No one really knows what happened to Atlantis, but I have a hunch that it's not above water anymore. It's underneath water. There was a video that got released where this man explores the depths of the ocean and he kind of bounced off the bottom of the ocean as if it was glass or some kind of silicone or something. So it's been told that there's worlds underneath the ocean. So the Atlantis may be underneath the ocean. Who knows? But there's a lot more to the story than what we are told. We have been lied to so many years as a nation and especially Negroes and Blacks, we've been lied to so many years. We need to get our head out of the clouds. We need to learn our true religion. We need to learn our true powers. And once you learn your true powers, everything else will make sense. Take a look at this video. All right. Everyone is told that Africa is the cradle of civilization and that Egypt is its crown. But the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians themselves was writing about their homeland. And where do you think their homeland is? Where do you think they originated from? Africa doesn't have stair steps going up it. It doesn't have temples on top of its summits. They could not go and break through the boat on the temples atop those great pyramids. There are none there. And that was the clue that Egypt was writing about the Americas. And the deeper I got into the records, the clearer it got. They started actually saying, and because I'm in love that land so much, he said it's his beloved land, and that word was Mary, the beloved. Mary, M-E-R-I, Mary. And the land, of course, as before, is Ta. Tom. So you have the beloved, the, the beloved land. Ta Mary. And they kept that name and just put the Ta on the end of it. So Ta Mary became a Mary Ta, we simply say, a Mary Ka. We kept the name that Egypt gave to the Americans. So that was the big mystery behind that $10 million map that Martin Waltzmuller made and then put the name America on it in 1507. And then those who knew and those who were trying to hide things said, wait a minute, you can't put that name on here. And the next time he reprinted that map, it was off, it was gone. Because that's the name that Egypt had given the land. America. Mr. Brother Caribio for his extensive research. Oh, before I let you go, did you know that all ancient gods of Egypt are all animals indigenous only to America? You don't believe me? Go look it up. And here's the Kugra. Horses. Horses are only breed here in America. People say, oh, it's some in Asia. Woo, woo, woo. No. Horses originate here in America. They breed better here in America. Not in Africa or Dubai or any other place they say it. You see horses. No, they primarily breed here in America and America only. That's why you see in Africa, Dubai, and all these other places, you see camels, majority camels. Only the really, really, really rich people can breed horses. But back in the day, it, it, they weren't breeding horses overseas like that. Only here in America. So when you see these hieroglyphics and these carvings of horses, that was here in America. Yeah, that's another dead giveaway. Yeah, they're lying people. It makes you think of the movie National Treasure with Nicolas Cage. It makes you look at that in a different light, doesn't it?